the Foundation always deals with mysterious anomalies and enigmatic phenomena. However, SCP entries dealing with Sarkic cults always held a special place in my heart. They always have this really bizarre otherworldly vibe to them. And SCP-7376-B is no different, so get ready for a heavy dose of cosmic horror and body horror. You have been warned. And without any further ado, let's get right into the files. Item SCP-7376-B Clearance Level 4 Secret Containment Class Euclid Secondary Class Thaumiel Disruption Class VLAM Risk Class Danger Image Entrance to SCP-7376-B Photo taken prior to containment. The image shows blocks of roughly hewn stone that form an entrance into what appears to be an underground tunnel. The structure appears to be damp and overgrown with moss. Location is unclear, but appears to be in a heavily foggy forest. Special Containment Procedures All personnel entering SCP-7376-B must be wearing Class B biohazard suits and sprayed with Pheromone 7376. All exiting individuals are to be doused with a pheromone neutralizing agent to ensure that SCP-7376-B1 instances do not attempt to follow personnel out. Containment Area 25A has been built around the entrance to SCP-7376-B to prevent unauthorized access to the anomaly and house personnel. The Foundation is cooperating with the Russian Ministry of Natural Resources and Environment to minimize the likelihood of discovery by civilians. Containment Area 25B has been constructed within SCP-7376-B's central chamber to aid in the direct monitoring of the anomaly and the containment of SCP-7376-A. Samples taken from the anomaly are to be transported to Storage Site 23 to be compared with preserved samples from other Nalkin organisms. Description SCP-7376-B is a living organism of Biotype SK-005. Organism beneath the upper Taz Nature Reserve in the Russian Federation. Though its interior has not yet been fully mapped out, it is estimated to be at least 10,000 square meters. Despite the fact that organisms of Biotype SK-005 must regularly be fed by their caretakers to survive, no evidence of human activity in or around SCP-7376-B has been discovered. SCP-7376-B1 is the collective designation given to dramatically enlarged organisms of Biotype SK-005. Organisms that live within SCP-7376-B where typical organisms of biotype SK-006 are 1 to 2 centimeters in length, smooth, and yellow-white, SCP-7376-B1 instances are between 2 and 3 meters long, weigh 70 to 80 kilograms, have rough, pale white skin. Like a normal biotype 006 colony, SCP-7376-B1 appears to collectively act as a symbiotic secondary immune system for its host body, attacking any foreign entity that enter SCP-7376-B. This protective instinct can only be circumvented through use of pheromone 7376, a non-anomalous yet potent chemical substance that the organisms naturally produce. Foreign entities that have been doused in the pheromone are either ignored or followed by SCP-7376-B1 instances. These organisms were initially assumed to be their host's means of retrieving sustenance. However, testing has shown that the SCP-7376-B1 instances are not inclined to leave SCP-7376-B, only doing so willingly if lured with pheromone 7376. The structure's central chamber contains SCP-7376-B2, a three-meter-tall upright coffin composed entirely of anomalously durable bone that has partially merged with the chamber's northern wall. 
The seal of Clavigar Auroch has been engraved into SCP-7376-B2's lid. It is understood to primarily symbolize the concepts of restriction and liberation. Beneath it, there is a phrase in an obscure variant of Old Atatitathad roughly translates to throne slash tomb of the one who guards slash dreams slash drowns. Only one passageway connecting SCP-7376-B to Redacted has been found. A lesser-known Nalkin symbol that is theorized to represent a Blashal has been scarified into the flesh above its threshold. Addendum 7376-B1, Omega Exploration Log Redacted Addendum 7376-B2, History Nalkin religious texts, recorded folklore, or historical records that directly or indirectly refer to SCP-7376-B have not yet been found. At time of writing, it seems that the Nalka community as a whole is completely unaware of its existence. The 1986 establishment of the Upper Taz Nature Reserve creates the possibility that one or more individuals in the Soviet government were attempting to keep SCP-7376 be hidden. However, there is no indication that GRU Division P was ever aware of the anomaly. On February 9, 2019, Enoch AIC flagged several reports of an individual matching SCP-7376-A's description within the Upper Taz Nature Reserve. Scans performed during the ensuing search alerted Foundation agents to the presence of a massive heat source beneath the ground. Subsequent investigation led to the discovery of SCP-7376-B's entrance. Addendum 7376-B3, Awakening Event on March 30, 2019, at 3.49 a.m. Greenwich Mean Time, sensors stationed in SCP-7376-B2's chamber picked up a sudden surge of heat from the anomaly in question. Further examination revealed that blood flow towards SCP-7376-B2 had also sharply increased and that the anomaly was producing a faint organic pulsing sound. Dr. Svetlana Volkov, Dr. Grigory Antonov, and technician Zinovy Lebedev were promptly dispatched to set up additional monitoring equipment around SCP-7376-B2. The following is a transcript of the only video recording of the incident. Date, March 30, 2019. 4.21 a.m. Dr. Volkov, Dr. Antonov and technician Lebedev all enter the chamber holding bags of monitoring equipment, each wearing a Class B biohazard suit. Technician Lebedev begins erecting the equipment, while Dr. Volkov and Dr. Antonov set themselves to calibrating it. Has the coffin's temperature raised at all? No, it seems to have stabilized at 93 degrees Celsius. On the dot. Christ, that's hot. You sure it's not 93 Kelvin? No, it's Celsius. I don't know how it's not slow cooking the flesh around it. Why would 93 Kelvin make any more sense? That's fucking cold. Did you say something? No. All present continue with their duties in silence for nearly 10 minutes. There are several moments where vague movement is seen in the periphery of the camera's view. All present do not appear to notice. Do we have any movement inside the coffin? Nothing that we can see. At least half our sensors can't seem to penetrate this thing. I'll check the waterproofing, see if anything's broken. Unsettling. Yeah, everything about this place makes me uneasy. Of course you're uneasy. We're in a subterranean meat temple. Not just that. Think about it. All the Sarkic temples we've found are either long deceased or getting fed regularly. 7376B isn't dead, clearly, but nobody's been feeding it. We haven't found any evidence that anyone's used this place since it was built. How's it still alive? Could it be that bees being sustained by an anomalous effect? Some kind of formaturgic or carnomantic ritual to sustain a temple indefinitely? I had the same thought, but I doubt it. 
If Sarkates knew how to keep their temples alive without food, why haven't they been doing that all along? Maybe it's too costly or difficult to bother with most of the time. Then why save that trick for a temple they never used? No, it's far more likely that it's feeding by some other means, and I'll bet you anything those means are downstairs. How would you know? We're not even allowed down there. Got a gut feeling about it. Pretty sure we're in a gut. Is your gut telling you anything about this stupid coffin? Nothing, besides the obvious. And that is? We need to figure out what's going on with this thing and fast. More movement in the camera's periphery. In that, I may be of some assistance. And with that, we are ending today's session. I hope you enjoyed our rendition of SCP-7376-B. Join us next time as well to find out the identity of this mysterious robotic being, which has been temporarily labeled SCP-7376-C. See you next time, and please don't forget to subscribe to the channel to stay updated on all further SCP entries and other goodies.